I see which one you need to flip now. The red switch. That's easy one to find. Ah! <laughs> a Luke's! Yeah. So what what got you into uh, Fortnite initially? That's a good question. Um, I feel like I started playing Fortnite uh, just because students were. Yeah. Yeah. So I never really got into it at all. And then like a lot of my youth students, so me and Cam work in the same youth ministry. Mm -hmm. And the last youth ministry I was at. Um, it was when I guess Fortnite was like super popular. Mm -hmm. um, it first started being popular, so I started playing with students a little bit. Yeah. Um, and kind of stuck a little bit. Then gotcha. So moved into a. Uh... Oh, nope. I see what I have to do. I'm starting to get it here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Moved into our, like a, a house with a few other guys that played it. Too. Oh, really? And so we'd, we'd play. I just sit in the living room, eat veggie straws, and just like uh, pass the controller around and take turns doing solos. Nice. <laughs> oh, you're down oh to gosh. one. There you go. But you should be okay after you spare him. Yeah. There you go. Nothing like alone time. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know what it was with Fortnite, but like I, I just kind of get into it. Yeah. Like like battle royales are like I can definitely understand their fun factor, absolutely, um, and why they're all the hype now. But um, like especially for third person shooters, third person shooters are weird to me. Like the like the different angle of a game like that, it's just it just throws me off. Like I gotta have first person because that's 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 what I've always known since I got into. Uh, Black Ops 1. That was the first Call of Duty I played. Okay. Okay. I really hope there's mm -hmm. a save point in the next room. I, if I, rem I think so. I think you, I think there will be one after that. Okay. Nice, because I'm you are <laughs> in trouble right now. Yeah, you're, you're limping your way across the underground right now. Let's see. So there's a... Oh, you want to... Actually, I'm going to nudge you to the right a little bit. A little frog right there. Ribbit, ribbit. Just between you and me, I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, it's a nice little overlook right there. And then you found the toy knife. So now you have a plastic knife that you want to swap to your weapon if you ever want to. Oh, you also you got, got the faded ribbon. Okay. I didn't even see you pick that up. We must have been talking about something. Yeah, it was in one of those rooms where all the drops. Oh, that's right. Okay. So that's please right. Please no attacks. <laughs> I'm not an attack right now. Oh, this does not look good. <laughs> oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. Oh, there she is. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? Who yes. did this to you? You will get an apology. <laughs> I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Er, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. There you go. I got a save point. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Feel the determination. Do you smell that? Is it cinnamon? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I wanted you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. <laughs> here, I have another surprise for you. So you can go and follow her. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Oh my gosh. Aww. My <laughs> Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. So yeah, that's your little bedroom right there. Okay. 
This is such a nice song. This is uh, sometimes um, I'll play like a lot more of these like chill Undertale soundtracks. Okay. Because they they just feel very like this one is this song is literally called Home. So like I'll play this when I'm just kind of like cleaning up the apartment or whatever. And it's just so nice. Take a little nap. What's that? You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie! There you go. Nice. And this is that same song, but it's like music box, which I think sounds really sweet, but it only plays when you have the lights off. Box of kids' shoes in a disparity size. That's so terrifying. <laughs> so <laughs> terrifying. They're just shoes. <laughs> yeah. Why does she need boxes of kids' shoes everywhere else? This is Toriel's room. Oh boy. Toriel's diary. Read the circled passage? Yeah. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. The rest of the page is filled with jokes <laughs> of a similar caliber. <laughs> Peek inside. Scandalous. Story all sock drawer. <laughs> Encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open in the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pots. Known more commonly as water sausages. See, you learn all kinds of stuff. Definitely bigger than a twin size bed. That is a big bed. Ah, the cactus. Truly the most thunder of plants. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is hysterical. It's you! <laughs> Room under renovations. I don't see if I'll be able to enter that one. Yeah, that's bad stuff in there. I already know. <laughs> I already know. Oh my gosh. You can see our little, little living room right here. The, end, the ends of the tools have been filed out to make them safer. Oh my gosh. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. <laughs> as great as our king is, he's pretty lousy at names. <laughs> wow. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for ed education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still. I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? <laughs> I don't know, I get chills. What? This, this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I am reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Here's an exciting snail fact. <laughs> Did you know that snails sometimes flip their digestive systems as they mature? That's actually gross to think about. <laughs> Interesting. Well, bother me if you need anything else. Yeah, I don't want to invoke her around, so I'm just gonna... <laughs> Take a look at the kitchen. For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. Oh, I know you can't take the chocolate bar. I'm like, man. White first, I get the drink. Okay. <laughs> Problems with being a goat. <laughs> Size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. The slice you got was pretty big. Must use fire magic instead. It'd be pretty neat to have like fire magic to cook all your stuff. I'd be down. <laughs> I'd take that stuff. Okay. Going down the stairs? Yeah. Nice. This is terrifying. Oh. Okay. I think you should play upstairs instead. That, all right. <laughs> so, <laughs> going back down. <laughs> nice. It is dangerous to play here. Okay. <laughs> wow, Toriel. Just, just, Seems like she's hiding something, maybe. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. Oh, back outside. <laughs> Every time this old tree grows any leaves, they fall right off. 
not going to be... I don't think there's much else to explore out here. I think you covered everything. Okay. Good to know. Especially if you got those items. Those items will be helpful, especially the faded ribbon. Okay. By the way, did you actually equip that faded ribbon, or is it just in your inventory? It's just in my inventory. Okay. You can swap that out also, because uh, you'll 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 find items and stuff that you can upgrade. It is drafting here. You will catch a cold. So I guess I have to talk to her more. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, Toriel. I'll <laughs> find you. What is it? I have to do something. <laughs> Stay here. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins, a one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I want to go home. I like her, but... Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. I understand, but I just can't do that. <laughs> That's a no can do. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be a no from me, boss. <laughs> this is your final warning. Oh, don't give me warnings. I don't wanna be. Oh. You want to leave so badly? Hmph. <laughs> You are just like the others. There is only there's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Oh, I don't want to fight you, Toriel. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. 